Shalom everyone. Today I'd like to take a quick look at Proverbs 21 verse 16. But before we start, let's just pray. Father, we come before you, Yah, and ask you to show us the error of our ways, Father. That we not have the thoughts of the enemy at the forefront of our mind by feeding that seed which is in our hearts and we not be doing the works or speaking the words that would come from the adversary. Father, bring to light those things in our lives, yeah, that need to be done away with, that need to be set far away from us, Father, that we might submit to you, resist the enemy, he would flee. In your precious name, Yahweh came to rescue us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Now, Proverbs 21, 16. We'll look at it on the screen. We see it here. And I encourage you to turn to it in your scriptures. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Um, you know, usually I won't go off just one verse and you know go from there. The only place that I even find that's even sometimes a reasonable thing to do is in Proverbs, because sometimes you just see one snippet at a time. But most other books, context, context, context. But I don't think we'll have any issue seeing the context that's behind this verse in the Hebrew understanding. So, let's take a look. The man that wandereth out of the way. So we have our word wander here. It's Hebrew 85, 82. In the Strong's, we see that it says a primitive root to vacillate, that is, reel or stray, literally or figuratively, also causatively, of both. Vacillate. Interesting word in the 1828 Webster's. Um, it's almost like a serpentine course, if you continue to trace it back, kind of through the English. Amazing word. Think about a serpentine belt, a serpentine course. A man that wandereth out of the way. So we see it's to reel or to stray, literally or figuratively, or both. So if we look in the ancient Hebrew lexicon, we see that it's at 1499 HV. And I want to encourage everyone, if you don't have the ancient Hebrew lexicon, and I understand it's on the e-sword, but if you don't have this book by Mr. Benner, I would encourage you to get it and have it in your hands. It's, it's priceless. We see that it's at HV. It is to wander, to go astray, to do deception or influence. We see from right to left, the letters are the ta, the ayin, and the hay. The ta is the two cross sticks, and it means mark, seal, sign, covenant, some people would say completion. The I in that middle letter there is an I. It means to watch, to see, to experience, to know, knowledge, understanding. And then we see the hay, the little man with his arms raised. It can mean to behold, behold a great sight. It can mean to be received revelation. It can mean breath. And so I'm going to put the definition to this word, and as we continue on, we will see that play out in scriptures right before our eyes because his language is alive. So we see someone that has wandered or gone astray due to deception or influence. Ta, they've missed the mark because they did not become, did not know Ion, did not become intimate to know Yah, 
Therefore, when he is, the man with his arms raised, hey, revealed in that time, we shall not be made like him. So we have this missing of the mark, which is sin, causing us to be unable to be intimate with Yah, so that when he is revealed, because we have known him, we shall be made like him. That is what being led astray due to deception or influence is all about. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. First time we see the word way is when we see the sword that's turning all different directions on the way back to the tree of life. That's where we're trying to go. You're wandered out of the way. You're not on the way that's going to take you back to the tree of life. A man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. The ability to consider a situation with comprehension in order to be successful or prosperous. This, of course, would not be in a worldly fashion. This would be successful in knowing Yah and becoming intimate with Him so that when He is revealed, we shall be made like Him. To be successful or prosperous in determining the difference between Right and almost right. Right and wrong. So this man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, he's going to remain. He's going to rest in the assembly of the dead. So the shepherd's supposed to lead us, as we can see on this definition right here. And we're not going to go a lot into the letters and... You can, there's, there's a video on my channel, Psalm 5, uh, where I go, we talk really in depth about this. But you can see that the pictograph noon is a seed representing continuance and the hay is a picture of a wall, separates the inside from the outside. Combine these, me, continue outside. So the shepherd's supposed to lead Yeshua. Yahoo came to rescue us. Our shepherd is to lead us to a place where we can drink the living water of life as well as a green grass for pasturing. Once the flock arrives, they are free to rest after the long journey, a guided journey to a place of rest. So as we continue outside, we need to allow the shepherd to guide us by his seed so that when the day and time comes, we are on the right side of the fence, the right side of the wall. So if one that's wandered out of the way shall remain. They're going to be on the outside of the fence in that day and time because they chose to be not guided and led by the shepherd in the here and now. They're going to remain in the congregation. This congregation is a gathering to the staff. They're not gathered to the staff of Yah. They're being directed and guided by shepherds that are not disciplining and are not truly protecting the flock. From what? From the wrath to come. By teaching them how not to miss the mark. But in essence, teaching them how to miss the mark. There's this congregation of the dead. And this dead is 1454 EN. We see the end here, simply dead. Rafa. We see it comes from the action of heal, the concrete of medicine. We see at the two letter root, we see the, we see the resh and the pay right here, rush and the pay. Action is to heal, the concrete is medicine, the abstract is sick. Yahoo came to rescue us, came to heal the sick. The sick are the ones that need the doctor to heal them.
The pictograph resh is a picture of the head of man. The pay is a picture of an open mouth. Combine these mean man open. Wounds, sicknesses, and illnesses are cured with medicines made from plant materials, which were pulverized into medicinal powder. We did have someone that was pulverized for us, a shepherd that wants to lead us in the way, that wants to guide us, that wants to direct us, that wants to guide us to this place of rest and this place where we can drink the water to teach us how to discern so that we can be successful and prosperous and back on the way, not wandered off the path, to the place that we're supposed to be. This dead person, they didn't, if you're dead, if you got dead, you didn't get healed. But that's pretty simple in normal life. So the dead are not on their way back to the beginning. Following the word, the mouth, the, what was breathed from Elohim, in order to be yoked to him as the Hebrews thought, to be in the yoke with Yah. They're dead. Their works are dead. So now that we've, I want to go back to this word wander. And again, it was, we, we've seen kind of what's behind the Hebrew in this verse here. So I want to just reiterate this word wander. Here we see it at the HV. It's a ta, the ayan. And hey, so it's a missing of the mark so that we are it's a missing of the mark which causes us to be not to be intimate with him so we don't know him. They lead us astray so that when he is revealed we are not made like him. So who does this leading astray? Let's go to Revelation 12, 9. Okay. And the great dragon was thrown out, that serpent of old, called the devil, and Hasatan, who leads all the world astray. He was thrown down to the earth, and his messengers were thrown out with him. So we see there is one that is, and it's obvious, who is causing us to, or causing any certain person to go astray due to deception or influence. Um, and he has not just the mess, he has messengers here that come as angels of light, causing us to go astray, miss the mark, so that we aren't able to be intimate with Elohim. So we are not so we are not there when he is revealed and we are not made like him. So Revelation three one through six and to the messenger of the assembly in Sardis write he who has the seven spirits of Elohim and the seven stars says this I know your works that you have a name that you are alive but you are dead you may have a name that says that you're alive the assembly that you're in may have a name that says they may look like they're alive but they're dead they're dead. There needs to be a healing because they need to wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die. For I have not found your works complete before Elohim. There is a deception going on. My dear friend likes to call it church on a seat. And I think that would be the most apropos term that I have heard for it. And I would beseech everyone to take a deep, hard, close look. You know, we used to say, oh, they're just playing church when we were in Christianity. They're just playing church. 
Now are we playing church on a zitzi? It's really no different. It looks alive, but truly is dead. Remember then how you have received and heard, and watch and repent. If then you do not wake up, I shall come upon you as a thief, and you shall not know at all at what hour that I come. Get away from me, you workers of lawlessness, for I never knew you. You were never intimate with me. I never knew you. Now I've been revealed, and I want to bring you in the door, but I never knew you. He who overcomes shall be dressed in white robes, and I shall by no means blot out his name from the book of life but shall confess his name before my father and before his messengers. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the assemblies. Are we being led astray by deception or influence? Wake up before what remains dies. Revelation 20, verses 10 through 15. Wake up, be healed, repent. Did I say Revelation 20, 10 to 15? Yeah, now. Start at 1. And I saw a messenger coming down from the Shemaim, having there a key to the pit of the deep and a great chain in his hand. And he sees the dragon, that serpent of old, the one who leads all the world astray, except for those elect that would be deceived if they weren't warriors. They weren't awake. If they weren't able to understand and discern what it takes to need to be successful and prosperous in kingdom terms. Who is the devil in Hasatan and bound him for a thousand years. Praise and he threw him into the pit of the deep and shut him up and set a seal on him so that he should lead the nations no more astray until the thousand years were ended. And after that, he has to be released for a little while. And that's another day. And I saw thrones and they sat on them and judgment was given to them. And the lives of those who had been beheaded, who had cut themselves off from the head of the whore and bore witness to Yah who came to rescue us, and because of the word Elohim, and who did not worship the beast nor his image, nor receive his mark upon their foreheads or upon their hands, because they didn't miss the mark of Yah. They did not receive the mark of the beast. And they lived and reigned with Messiah for a thousand years. So this not receiving the mark upon your forehead, what is at the forefront of your mind that comes from the seed that's planted in your heart? What are the works that you're doing? That we're doing. Excuse me. Don't be led astray. And they lived and reigned with the Messiah for a thousand years. And the rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. According to John 3, at his revelation, excuse me, John chapter 3. No, first John, third John. Hey, let's go there and see what I'm, chapter, I'll read it to you. First John chapter 3. My apologies. Beloved ones, verse 2. Now we are children of Elohim, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 
because we knew him. Read verse 1. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of Elohim. For this reason the world does not know us, because it did not know him. And that's all about being led astray. First John chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Let's finish in Revelation. Blessed and set apart is the one having part in the first resurrection. Because they knew him, they were made like him, and the second death possesses no authorities over them. But they shall be priests of Elohim and of Messiah, and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years have ended, Hasatan shall be released from his prison. And he shall go out and lead the nations astray, which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for battle, whose number is as the sand of the sea. And they came up over the breadth of the earth, and surrounded the camp of the set-apart ones and the beloved city. And fire came down from Elohim out of the heaven and consumed them. Boy, he really led them somewhere, didn't he? That's exactly where he's leading us today. We're on our way to the fire, as opposed to being made like Elohim. And the devil who led them astray was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they shall be tortured day and night, forever and ever. So we see that um, the devil, that serpent of old, is leading all the world astray that would be led astray except for the elect that would, not be, that would be deceived unless they were not warriors. It's causing many to miss the mark so that they cannot be fully intimate with Yah to be there when he is revealed. Revelation 22, 11. He who does wrong, let him do more wrong. You're going to continue in it. You're going to continue. In it. He was filthy, let him be more filthy. He was righteous, let him be more righteous. Wake up. You want to be righteous? Then be more righteous. He who was set apart, let him be more set apart. And see, I am coming speedily, and my reward is with me, to give each one according to his work. Why? Their works were not complete. Are our works going to be complete? Or are we going to be allowed to be led astray? I am the eld of the ta. Everything has to be in its proper order. According to the language that he originally breathed, are our works complete before Yah? Are we in order? We're supposed to present ourselves in order every day the beginning and the end the beginning to the end the first to the last blessed are those doing his command doing his works his complete works not riding the fence there's this thing out there I know it's not a scripture Hasatan owns the fence right church on a seat is riding the fence Church is on one side, his commands are on the other, and some are sitting on the fence in the middle. So that the authority, blessed are those doing his commands, so that the authority shall be theirs unto the tree of life. The way back to the tree of life. That is what the sword is guarding. We're not coming back there if we're being led astray, because we're out of the way, because we're to the left. Or we're to the right. We're not straight down the path back to the tree of life because the one that's leading us astray keeps us from understanding how to be successful and prosperous and reaching back to this point to get to the tree of life. Be wrong, he wants you to be more wrong still. Be filthy, he wants you to be more filthy still. Wake up. Let's be righteous and be more righteous still. Be more set apart still.
Verse 14. Blessed are those doing his commands, so that the authority shall be theirs into the tree of life, and to enter through the gates into the city, but outside, like a fire, other side of the fence. Not led to the rest where there's green pasture and we're drinking water and we're resting after the long journey, other side of the fence. But outside are the dogs and those who enchant with drugs and those who whore and the murderers and the idolaters and all who love and do a falsehood because they are children of their father, the devil, who is a liar and the father of all lies, who has been a murderer since the very beginning. I, Yah, have, Yah, who came to rescue us, have sent my messenger to witness to you these matters in the assemblies. Blood. Look up that word witness. Trace it back. It goes back, I'll tell you where it goes back to. It goes back to the I and Tao. See the door? Are you striving to enter into it? There's no compromise in that root line. You're walking in agreement on those things that are in their root line, it's a beautiful picture. Or you're not, or you're being led astray. You're missing the mark. I am the root and the offspring of Dawid and the bright morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come, come. And he who hears, let him say, come. Can you hear? Tell everyone to come. And he who thirsts, come, take a drink of the living water. And he who desires it, oh, take the water of life without paying. The price has been paid. Just endure until the end. Praise Yah. We thank you, Father, who love you, Yah. I ask, Father, that you open the eyes and the ears and turn the hearts, Father, of each and every one, Father, to you, Yah. Let us not be led astray by the enemy, Father. Lead us not, leave us not void, Father, in this constant place, Father. It is not your cycle, Yah. Lead us to the place, Yah, where we are walking straight down the path, Yah. We hear it all the time, not to the left or not to the right. Father, show us not to the left and not to the right. And how to walk these out, Yah. How to make our works complete before you. And not be deceived or influenced by another word, another seed that comes from the devil, the serpent, Asatanabur. In your mighty name, in your precious name, Yah, we thank you. Hallelujah. Yahweh bless.